I do like get yeah, just in girls. I don't like date a lot of people or any people really, but like I get interested in them. But like there's one thing that I want in a girl. Be straightforward, be honest. Simple, right? Um, for some reason, a lot of girls don't want to like tell you like I have serious problems. Run the fuck away. <laughs> they have to show you like. Would you rather have like the brakes to your car in like? your wife's hand as she's as you're pulling down the driveway? Or would you rather she be like, I have the brakes to your car? I'd rather she tell me than she'd be like, oh, well, you're gonna die later, but like, here you go. I love you, sweet sweets. Like, I don't want that. And like, I've had three stoppers in my life already. I don't need a fourth. I can't fit time to my schedule to avoid them. So like, I, 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 don't, I want to live a, a clean life. So my friend and I developed a system of going to clubs with uh, uh, safe words. Safe words, if you don't know, like for especially dumb matrices, like if you don't like this, you yell a safe word and like everything stops. For me and my friends, we decided to go to a club because this is New York. And it wasn't a very good situation to begin with because my friends were really drunk and high because I don't do that sort of thing. I ended up being a sober person. So my friends like, yo man, we should make a safe word. I'm like, okay, well, we can we can make a safe word. He was like, let's make it porky man. Like, if, a, if, if I'm a porcupine, everyone's like, oh shit, don't dance, the porcupine will float. I don't want that to happen. It's like, this is drawing attention to us. So then my second friend was like, we should make the word beluga. <laughs> if you're dancing with a girl, you always pull you away from her, and you say beluga, we have an entirely different situation on our hands. <laughs> Not what I'm looking for. So I was like, okay, because we're all being goofy. I'm looking at him like, oh, you're going to have an ego on your show. Let's use a bird call. Or something like that. We use a bird call. It's okay. They're like, yeah, bird call, yeah. So we use a bird call. We go into the club, you know, I see this girl, I'm over there, this Asian girl, and I'm like, I have a man, simple taste, Asian girls, African food. So I went over and I said, I'm going to talk to this Asian girl. <laughs> Started talking, I'm running up to the dance floor, we're not like, grinding, we're just like, case dancing like this, back and forth, it's pretty fun. And then my friend goes, boo, he calls me over, like, oh, fuck. And I go over there, like, what do you want? He goes, like, are you dancing with that girl's bag, man? I'm like, bags? Someone. I'm like, oh, well, she's not. She told me she's sick. Well, like, I don't need this. All right, let me enjoy. Let me have this, okay? <laughs> like, okay, okay. And he backed up. We go back and we keep dancing a little more, same way. Then my other friend calls me. He's actually dancing with someone. I was like, excuse me, uh, my people need me. Boom! Run over here. I'm like, hey, let me get you. Pull out. I'm like, hey, you good? He's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm like, who are you dancing with? Like, that, that girl. I was like, that girl, dude. She's bad, man. She got a girlfriend. It's a girlfriend. She got a boyfriend. I'm like, no, no, she doesn't. I'll call you when I need you, okay? And he's like, all right, man. And I go keep dancing with him. And we keep dancing, we get closer and closer and closer. And then like her face pales for a second. And a giant hand landed on my shoulder. Now, this is mostly for white people out there. When you see a big black man, or any black man, never relate to a primate, ever. <laughs> Saves you a lot of trouble, right? But when I turned around, this big, like seven foot, six million black dude, had a red tie on looking like Donkey Kong. <laughs> and I was scared. <laughs> Very scared. And he was like, hey, you trying to fuck my girl, man? Man, I killed niggas like you. I'm like, and I'm sure you're good at your job because I have no brain in my head. <laughs> I should have shut up. I can't do that. And then he goes like, what'd you say to me? I ate niggas like you for breakfast. And I'm like, but I'm not Cocoa Puffs. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Like that would go through my head. Now, when you're about to get into a fight, you're supposed to look as big as possible. If you see a bear coming like, for you, you're not going to be like, mm, take my honey. You're going to try and look as big as possible. All right? So this kid is about to kick my ass. So I'm not going to look as big as possible. I'm like, I'm like <laughs> not going to take me out. And then like, you have to have like, a really deep voice. Like, hey, man, you're going to fight me, man. You're going to hit me, man. I had like, the worst voice. I'm like, hey, man, you better back the fuck up. <laughs> I, I know things you don't. Like, like I, I was going to get my ass beat. Like, the thing is, when people like are going to kick your ass, they do like several different things. Like, the first thing is cracking knuckles. Like, for some reason, when you're about to get your ass beat and a person's going to kick your ass, they keep finding more knuckles under the knuckles they already have. They keep cracking in order to show this is going to be a situation. The next thing people do would be like, pulling up their sleeves, they're like, oh yeah, it's about to go down, you don't even understand. Even when they don't have sleeves, like, they obviously are gonna win because they see sleeves you don't. <laughs> this is what he was doing, he was washing his hands. And I got 
swear to God, you can get into this. You're like, so. <laughs> Throw it down. That's why that's how I felt. And like, he pulled me to him, and I called for my voice. I'm like, help me. Like, I'm going to die. They're like, no, man, you said you don't need us. First mistake. Bringing them with me because they had they were the smallest two people that could ever protect me in my life. I swear to God, I was like, oh, please help me. And they came to me. But we look like a very black mariachi band. Like we were not gonna fight anyone. Like we were going down. Alright? So he pulls us outside. Outside, I get my voice back, but like, like it goes in and out of like puberty, like it just kept coming back and forth. It didn't work very well. So it's me, my three friends, this big dude, and his girl apparently. And he, you know, when you're yelling at somebody, you have like a situation outside, and like things are coming to a resolution, you get quieter and quieter, you come back to like a talking volume. We kept yelling at each other for like 25 minutes. So he's just like, hey, baby, drop the fuck up, and I'm like, no, man, I did that, what's up, please? Like, I did not, like, I just kept yelling stupid shit like that back at me. And then, like, she goes like, yo, you trying to fuck my girl? You know, she take you trying to fuck her? No, man, she said she was single. And then all of, all of a sudden, her voice changed to one akin to like, and just go like, Terrence, you told me last night that it was Opal, it was at Starbucks. And then I was like, oh, thanks for showing up. You could have done this inside, we had to come outside. It's cool as fuck. <laughs> and then, like, Terrence saw something, he was like, man, you gotta edit me, that, you know, you, you ordered a caramel macchiato. And I'm like, I didn't have the money for it, so I was like, it's over, I can't do this, I don't have the money, and you can just it. And I like, kind of have an embarrassing issue, so I was like, all right, guys, we're gonna run. <laughs> we're gonna buy wigs. We're going to wear glasses and make a new family in Canada. <laughs> Three, two, and then the guy goes, hey, we're okay, hey, we weren't running at all. <laughs> we're fine, we'll be here. And he's like, so you weren't trying to fuck my girl? I'm like, no, man, I don't do that. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and, he go, and he goes, like, I respect it. I respect it. Like, I, now I'm just arguing to argue. Like, I finally found my voice. I'm just saying stupid shit. He goes, like, all right, have a good night. You have a good night. And he left with this girl. So like, you know when you like just survive when you're in that experience, you're like laughing through your life. We almost died. So we all laughed for like 10 minutes and went out. Let's go back to the club. Alright. So we all like fix ourselves up, walk back into the club, and like it's like an old West movie. Like all people are like, oh shit, they beat the big black man. <laughs> And hit it, and we were immediately the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> and they come, and then all I hear on the radio is my jam. Tick-tock on the clock. Like, this is my jam. And I walked in, and we had a prayer. So like, all right, that's my time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much.